think we have roughly three five gallon buckets of lemons. These are not, these are not, this, this is a really light one. I don't think that there's a lot of liquid in here. So I did pick, so I did pick extra, um, just hoping that we will come up with four cups of lemon juice. Well, lucky for us, we got all four cups of lemon juice from one five gallon bucket, a little less actually. Now, I know most of you are freezing right now, but I'm gonna tell you right now, December and January in Hawaii is hot. It's hot, I'm sweating. Now that we are finished with that step, let's figure out what's next on our recipe for our juice concentrate. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is blend up our strawberries. We're looking for six cups of strawberries, then blended. Doesn't that look delicious? I just want to kind of drink it. So we're gonna do this in batches. Um, this will fit two cups of whole strawberries. So I'm gonna do this two more times and then I, it's gonna go into a pot. It's like a slushy. And then we're just going to go ahead and add our lemon juice to our strawberry puree along with our sugar. So it's six cups of strawberries, four cups of lemon juice, and six cups of sugar. A lot of sugar. So we need to bring this up to temperature, not boiling it. We're just basically going to melt the sugar and heat it on medium just briefly. Do not boil. While that's heating up, let's go ahead and get our water bath canner started. The canner is in the way. Mm. We're gonna can these in pint jars. We're going for quarter inch head space today. Once again, we have a recipe with a lot of sugar in it, so we are gonna make sure we clean our rims with vinegar. Make sure you use this time to, oh look, see? Make sure you use this time to be feeling the edge of your jar, just in case there's any chips that happened while it was being stored. Make sure you get all that sugar and gook off of there. Go ahead and place your lids and your rings. Go ahead and pop them in the canner. We are water bath canning this today. Okay, so we're all buttoned up in the canner. We're gonna go ahead and wait for this to come all the way up to a full rolling boil. Then we're going to let it boil for a full 15 minutes. All right, so according to our recipe, we are doing half, half concentrate, and then you can do half 
ginger beer, you can do seltzer water, um, bubbly water, or regular water, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna do a lime flavored bubbly water. If this were cold, it would be even better, but oh, nice. Okay. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Make sure you serve this chilled. It is spectacular. I just want to like go lay on a beach somewhere and sip this all afternoon. Yeah. Okay. So we are still going to go ahead. We are still waiting for our water bath canner to come up to temperature. And then I'll bring you back and show you the process to take them out of the canner when it's time. So our timer just went off. I turned off the heat. I'm going to take the lid off and wait another five minutes. And that's gonna do it for today. Now you have seven beautiful pint jars of your strawberry lemonade concentrate to put up on the pantry shelf and enjoy any time of year. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Hamakua Homestead. I'll see you again soon.